Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kathy. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, so this is another video of my Nirvana series. And today I'm going to be talking about how I set up my social media planner. Um, I know I've got a lot of planners, but if you watch the first video, which I will link below, um, it'll explain it. And so, yeah, so I've chose the black speckled one for my social media. Um, so first of all, I keep some little tags in here. That's pretty much all I keep right now. I'm not, I don't know, I don't decorate a lot. I just don't. And so these I actually ordered um, from Carpe Diem as well as the binder. This is just a little uh, thing to stick in. It says quit slacking and make it happen. <laughs> this vellum was from an Erin Condren planner, the very first one I had. Um, and I kept it because it was just kind of pretty and I like it. And then these are from another um, Carpe Diem planner, uh, like I mentioned last time. Uh, just you have to remove the spot the spiral and punch holes where you need them so all right so I'm not going to show you the month of February or March because I've already got it planned out um, well maybe I'll show you the last one in March so I do have my uh, today thing um, all right yeah, I'll show you this one. All right, so basically what I've done is this is an old happy planner. I bought a teacher planner and I didn't use the sheets in it. I bought it because it was on clearance. It was like $8, I think, for a eight and a half by 11 size. And so I cut it down and I hole punched it and I turned it into a social media planner. So what I do is this is a sticker that I got out of one of the books from, um, this, it's, I think it's the social media book from Happy Planner. So as you can see, what I've done is, here, let me show you a blank one. So this is what a blank one looks like before I do anything to it, the front and the back. And so what I've done is, I draw a line here and then I put the date, Monday, Tuesday, Monday through uh, Sunday. I divide this up here and then I put the dates, what the week, what week it is. And um, that's, this is my scheduler. This is where uh, I post everything that I'm going to transfer into my, uh, my master planner goes here so I don't miss it. And then this I set up to be, um, here, let me get a, okay, so let me write this. This is for my newsletter. Now I post my newsletter, um, I send it out twice a month. And so I don't always need this space, but I'm, but if I need it, then I, I write what I'm gonna put in here, here. This is, I usually use this one for my website. And this is so that I remember to update, to check the email, to do all that stuff. And then as I go through it, I just mark it off. All right. So as you can see, I've already set up um, the back. And what I do also is I take a little thin washi for each month and I do the entire month with the same color washi. And I put it here and here to divide. So each section, each place will have its, at least two sections. YouTube, however, um, YouTube gets four boxes because I do Bible chats, uh, writing vlogs, and planner vlogs. So, and then this is like miscellaneous, random, just uh, brainstorm or extra writing space. So I give YouTube, I label YouTube, um, and I go by color. I like to do the color, as you can see, color, so I know what I'm doing. Um, and then we'll choose this light color blue. This is usually for my Instagram. And then we'll do pink. And this covers my social media because I don't have a lot of social media sites, just mainly Facebook and um, Parlor. 
So, I, but I do want to make sure I post on there as well. And so whatever I do here, I transfer with that same color to this here. And so as you can see, I can set up uh, what Bible chat I need to video for that week. Usually I'm trying to do uh, a videos a week ahead. So this will actually be for next week's videos. And so um, as you can see, I have an April Bujo already planned um, because I do my, um, my bullet journaling. And so I have that set up already, but I have writing stuff like that. Um, Instagram, social media, that kind of stuff. And so that's kind of fun. And let's move this back, put this back. Now these on the, on the backs of the, uh, my mind just went blank. On the backs of these dividers, I actually put the month so that I know what dates I'm dealing with. And so, yeah, so I've divided it up by the, by the month. So as you can see, it just has something cute. Do what makes your soul shine. And um, again, I use an old Carpe Diem uh, free uh, planner that I got that was spiral bound. So yeah, so that's basically what I do. That's how I set this up. I know this isn't a long video. I hope it was informative to you. Um, but uh, next week when I do my um, master planner video, it will actually, I'll show you exactly how I use these in conjunction with the master planner. Um, because I think for me personally, it's ingenious. It's helped me so much. And yeah, so this is basically how I've set it up. So if you have old happy planners or old any kind of planners, don't throw them away um, or don't think you can't use them. Or if you've started a planner and you aren't finishing it, you're, you went on to a different planner, um, don't throw it away. Use it, recycle it. You, you can be, you'll be amazed at what you can do with things um, if you just recycle them. So yeah, so again, I separated this just to give it some clarity. I don't know, I think I kind of liked it. I like it a lot. I like how I did this. Um, and it's actually helped me so much with keeping up with my social media. So yeah, I think that about covers it for this week. And I will talk to you next week. Don't forget to like, follow, uh, ring the bell, uh, subscribe, drop a chat, uh, and I will talk to you next week. Bye.